If your products already exist in the Amazon catalog, you don't have to re-add them, you can just add your offer to the listing that already exists. So for example, taking this Melissa and Doug Rainbow Stacker, if we take the ASIN for this product, we go to Amazon, we go to, we go to Inventory, we go to Add a Product. If we search for this ASIN, we can sell this product against that listing and it will ask us to add our stock number for the product, our price, the quantity, the condition we're selling in, and then also the fulfillment method. If you click on the advanced view, you can add other important aspects like the merchant shipping group, the product tax code, and a sale price. We shall be going into these options in more detail later. If you are matching more than a few products, it's a good idea to do this via an upload template, which is much, much quicker. You go to inventory and then add products via upload. You have the option to download your inventory file. Now, as we are only matching products, we need to download the inventory file down here, which is, and with product matching only, we need the inventory loader file. Here's an inventory loader file that I prepared earlier. Under the data definitions, it tells you the requirements for each field. The required fields are SKU, as in the stock number, and also fulfillment center or ID, which is required if you want to create FBA products. There are a number of also desired fields which really need to be filled in. So here, we'll just go through the fields briefly. The product ID, that could be either a barcode or an ASIN. And if it's the product ID type is defined in column C, and you can see here it's a number, so one for an ASIN, four for an EAN, for example. The price, that'll be in the local currency of the site. Also, there's a minimum and maximum value. This is very useful if you're doing dynamic pricing, so the price doesn't go too low or too high. The item condition, um, 11 stands for brand new, but there are some other options here. For example, you've got use like new would be one, etc., etc. Quantity to be sold, uh, whether this is a product which is being added or deleted, you can also delete by using this template. Column J is whether this product can be shipped internationally with, with a number of options which are shown on the data definitions sheet. Expedited shipping is whether next day delivery is available on this product. The merchant shipping group, which we'll be discussing later, is uh, determines the, where the product can be shipped and the pricing. Product tax code is the VAT code or the value added tax code or the sales tax code, which is applicable to this product. And this is particularly useful for business sellers. Finally, the handling time. If you have a product which cannot be shipped immediately, this is where the handling time is entered. There are a number of other fields which are specific to FBA products, which we will also discuss later. Once the product file has been completed, it needs to be uploaded to Amazon. For this, we need to save the relevant sheet as a tab delimited text file. If we right click on the template sheet and then we do move or copy, and then we select the template sheet and then create a new book. That will create the sheet as a new workbook. If we then do file, save as, choose a folder and save as a tab delimited text file. That will save the file in the right format. Then we will want to upload the file. We go back to add products via upload, click on upload your file, select inventory loader file, choose the file type and upload. And then click upload. The status of the upload will be shown under monitor upload status and you can download the processing report to see any errors. Once products have been successfully uploaded, they will appear in manage inventory using the details that have been created. Or if they're missing some data, they will appear in complete your drafts. And here you will be able to see the data which is missing and which needed, needs to be added for the products to go live. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com slash blog.